and the defensive coordinator of the Aztecs, Danny Gonzalez, joins us now. And again, here we are sitting here with this football team undefeated with a lot of things ahead of it, but they got four quarters this weekend against Boise State. Good morning to you, Coach. Thanks so much for doing this. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me on. Tell me how you see your defense growing in these six football games, Coach, from day one, the first game, to where you are right now. The improvements that you've made have been what? I think uh, week to week, um, our assignments get a little bit better. We're still making way too many. Um, I think uh, we preach around here we want to be fast and aggressive, and, and we're getting closer to our expectation. I mean, I thought last week's game by both teams was played very physical uh, early on, and I think we just wore them down towards the end, and, and uh, the more aggressive team won. The way you guys run to the football, too, and your pursuit angles and all of that stuff, Coach, that's got to be a mindset. I tell people this all the time. When you play defense, it's not a position. It's an attitude. The attitude of the football team after these six games has been what to you? Uh, I think what you mentioned about playing, playing uh, running the football, I think we preach that hard around here. I think that's one of the things that we take the most pride in, that when you put on our tape, other coaches and teams – uh, they watch us. They they are really impressed with how well we run to the ball, and we we preach that every day and every drill we do, whether it's going from drill to drill or um, during seven on seven during live team. It's all eleven guys need to be in the picture of the film by the time it stopped. All eleven need to be around, and you know that that helps with creating turnovers because we get three, four, five guys hitting the guy on the pile. And uh, I mean, we we're real we're real excited about that, and we got to keep that going. Coach, this is for me what we used to do when I was in college at Miami. The Monday through Friday was the hardest part of the week. It was so hard. Saturdays was recess to me. Um, Those were the easiest parts of the weekend were the games, actually. The work that we put in Monday through Friday, that was truly the, the hardest part of the week for us. Is that how you guys implement what you guys are trying to accomplish, too? That game on Saturday should be easy. I'm not saying... Winning is easy. I'm saying that game should be second nature when it comes to your responsibilities, all the things that you practice during the week. Are you there yet? Uh, I don't don't think we're there yet. We're getting close. I mean, I agree with you. The the games are won. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday practices. And then, I mean, whatever whatever you've taught them and whatever you showed them, hopefully it's been the right stuff, and it gives them the best chance to be successful on Saturday. But I completely agree with you. Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday – should be as hard as they can possibly be, and Friday, go out there and have fun. How about the young guys? How are they coming along? Uh, I think we've had uh, every game they're getting better. I mean, we're six games in now, so a guy like Tariq Thomas, we never had a true freshman play as much as he has. I mean, Leon McFadden back in 09 uh, came in about the third game and played. Um, Tariq Thompson has been a starter from day one, and he's done a great job. Uh, a lot of the other redshirt freshmen and sophomores on our group, they're coming along. They're, uh, they're not quite to our expectation yet of what we expect around here, but we're getting close. The older guys are doing a great job of bringing them along. Um, but we've got, luckily, now seven more that were bowl eligible guaranteed opportunities. So let's keep it going. Um, Danny Gonzalez, the D.C. of the Aztecs here on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty Tonight. Coach, do you guys have this mentality? It's us against the world. Nobody wants us to go to this bowl game. Da, 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 da. I mean, we used to get fueled off that, man. We loved the fact that nobody wanted us in their building. We'd go in to win football games, and they really didn't j- – they didn't want us in the party. That's how we always felt. Have you guys taken on that jacket as well? You know, I think our kids take a lot of pride in, in whoever we throw in front of them or whoever we put in front of them. We're going to take them on, challenge them, and, and we think we can beat them. Um, I think they have a little bit of that attitude of it's us against everybody. I mean, we know we're going to get everybody's best shot every week, and our, our kids believe it. So, yeah, I think uh, I think there is a little bit of that breeding around here. Tell me what it's like nine on seven or inside drills when you got Penny running the ball and you got your defense. Um, we used to think those were the toughest games of the week. And uh, the Saturday game, like I told you a couple minutes ago, was recess. Some of our inside drills used to be some of the most intense things I ever gone through. And even on the next level, um, how is that when you guys go against one another, ones versus ones? You know, it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I think one of the great things we do, do around here is just the competitive spirit. We compete every day. We compete good on good. Um, I think the maturity of our football team uh, shows a little bit because we, uh, I mean, we do everything full speed. It's all thud. Um, but we got guys that are smart, and we know we need Rashad Penny out there on Saturday. So when they have those shots and they could really t- 
take him on. It's a good thud up and a good fit and good technique. We don't we don't take the kill shot on him. Now we put those freshmen in there. Good luck, boys, because we're coming. <laughs> Danny Gonzalez, defensive coordinator of the San Diego State Aztecs here on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty Ten Ninety. Coach, this Boise State team, uh, maybe not the record that indicates how good they've played this year. They took out Troy, who went down to Baton Rouge and into Death Valley and beat them on uh, really on homecoming. And then they also went to overtime, a couple overtimes against Washington State. A pretty good unit coming in and taking on this Aztec team. You know, I think uh, Boise State's got a great football team coming in. Um, if you look at the history of their program, I mean, they've been good for decades. And it speaks a lot about them. The, the last time they went to the Fiesta Bowl um, in 20, I believe it was 2013, they started the season out 3-2, and two, just like they are right now. And then they got hot and went on a, a streak. So, uh, we've got a really good football team. It's going to be a great environment on Saturday night, a great football game. Coach, how do you guys how do you guys manage the expectations? You know that there's something out there, and you don't want to really talk too much about it. Um, and again, I, I and I know this. Your mentality is four quarters this weekend. First series is the most important series. Every play is the most important. I get that. How do you manage though the expectations of what could happen for this football team this year? I think um, Coach Long does a great job of setting the demeanor of this program. And it is, like you spoke, it's the next four quarters. It's week to week. Um, in our predicament, in our in our situation, our kids understand that we lose one game and those dreams are over. So if you look beyond what we've got coming and looking beyond Wednesday's practice is too far ahead. I mean, we have to get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday perfected so we have a chance to go out there on Saturday play our best game, have a chance to win at the end. So, I mean, I think the kids have done a great job uh, with the experience of what happened last year. Um, I think they're they're staying focused, and so far um, we've been really good. You know, Coach, I, I always thought that that really propelled us when I was in college to play for national championships because if we got one loss, our season was going to be in a different direction, we'll say, in a different bowl game, and no, everybody was afraid – of losing, so everybody gave their max effort, and everyone knows that there's something great. Is that what you're feeling right now, too? They know that there's something great there, and there can't be any trip ups. Uh, I think so. I mean, I think they uh, the expectation is to win every game. Uh, we've gotten to a point in our program where we believe that every time we step on the field, we're going to win, and I think the kids are believing in that. So we've got to we've got to keep them focused. I mean, you you uh, the it's out there that what the golden ticket is at the end of the season. Um, they all know it. I mean, we don't we don't talk about it in this building, but they're on social media, they're on TV. I mean, they hear all that stuff. So it's our job to keep them focused and and keep us keep them going one week at a time. Coach, finally here, give me a scouting report on Boise State as they come into uh, the queue this weekend. You know, they're uh, they've got a, they've got great personnel on offense. They've got um, they've got two quarterbacks that they use. Um, both of them have different things. They bring Brett Ripon's got a great arm. I mean, threw for over 3,600 yards last year. When he gets hot, he's scary. Uh, Montel Cozart, number three, he's a, he's a different style quarterback. He's a dual threat. I mean, they can run the zone read quarterback powers. They get an extra blocker for the quarterback. Uh, he's got a great touch on the deep ball. So, I mean, you can't relax when they put him in the game. Uh, I think they've, they've kind of decided over the last two weeks that they want to be a two tight end, mash it down your throat team like us. So, we're going to have to – play really good against the run, make them throw the ball, and then we're going to have to make plays in coverage. We're going to have to put those guys on island sometimes and expect those guys to make plays. I mean, they've got a great wide receiver in Cedric Wilson. So we've got a really big challenge for us. I mean, they're, they're, they give you multiple formations. They give you multiple looks, a lot of stuff that we got to keep our eyes clean. We can't get dirty eyes like we talk about in the secondary, looking at things that don't belong to us. And if we play fast, physical, and aggressive, It'll be a really great game. Get some turnovers, and we'll have a chance to win. Tell people all the time, never follow the ball. It'll never take you to the play. Follow your keys. It'll always take you to the ball. That's how you win football games, right, Coach? Follow your That's keys, exactly and you right. win. That's right. A football man will take you away from the play every single time, but those keys will take you to the football. By the way, before I get you out of here, does Rocky ever tell jokes like to at the coaching staff? Does he have a... Is he always just like that, or does he ever tell jokes? Does he have a personality in there? Do you guys ever kind of uh just kid around a little bit in the room there he's always so serious uh you know coach long is uh he's great to work for he he's a riot he really is he does Good. he has a great personality when we're in there um i mean he he 
he makes fun of us as coaches. I mean, we, it's, it's a really, it's a good environment to be around. Um, and he is, uh, like I said, he sets the demeanor for the program. The kids know when it's time to get going. But at the same time, it's a really fun time, a really fun environment to be around. That's great. I love to hear that. Fun environment for the coaches and fun environment for the players. That's always great. Thank you so much, Coach. Good luck to you against Boise State this weekend. Thanks, guys, and go Aztecs. You got it. Let's see if they can make this thing go to 7-0. and This is going to be quite a little battle here.